Hey all here, OS Reviews. Home security cameras have been around for a number of years now, and to be completely honest, they've gotten quite mundane and repetitive. But today's product claims to be the next generation forward, very different from other models in the market. It's called the SynCam, and this was originally a project on Kickstarter that you could pick up for $100. The full retail cost is now $170. This thing won a Best of CES Innovation Award here in 2019, and what makes it special is it has a a brand new Intel powered chipset that's called the Movidius. This chip has a very powerful VPU or vision processing unit that allows the camera to train and uh, leverage machine learning algorithms to identify people's faces and recognize the difference between say John versus Mary versus just a cat or dog. So it's able to tell you the difference between a stranger and someone that it's seen multiple times and it does all of this using its own hardware without the need to connect to the internet or leverage cloud computing. That means it's also more secure because it's not saving all of your faces and all of your information on someone else's servers, but rather it's doing all of the computation inside of its own machine because of the Intel chipset. Now this camera is also waterproof, so you can actually put it outdoors and it will still work. It has IR for night vision up to 50 meters in the dark. It supports up to 128 gigabytes for the micro SD card, which you'll need to again store the video files, and otherwise the actual process unit from Intel here has 12 cores inside. So you won't get any false alarms if something moves in the background like a plant that's blown by the wind uh, versus a human here will activate the alarm uh, as you can see here uh, versus again a cat which won't. So this is a process that claims to work within 15 seconds and uh, of something being triggered. So as you can see here another kind of a fly here is going towards the lens and nothing is activated so you can really get precise notifications of uh, real intrusions versus something Something that is a false alarm. To set up your face for the first time, you use the companion application and you take an image of your face from multiple angles and afterwards uh, it's kind of pushed over to the camera to process using its VPU and afterwards it's ready to go. You can just point it at you after taking those initial images. As for technical specifications, the lens is by Sony. It's an IMX sensor with 5 megapixel resolution and captures video footage up to full HD or 1080p resolution. So it's not 4K or the highest resolution on the market, but it's more than good enough for the average consumer for use at home. It also has a motorized base, which you can rotate 360 degrees so you can pan and tilt on this model. Taking a closer look at the design of the camera, the overall dimensions and size aren't significantly larger from other models we've checked out in the past, so you really can't tell that it's different just by looking at its hardware. Really interesting is this little port here, which is acting as the power port, but there's actually a rubber seal around it that prevents water from leaking in because, again, it has waterproof rating. Our camera is now online, and we can see a live feed here in real time. And from here, I'm able to simply pan around just by kind of twisting uh, on the left or right of the display, and you can hear the motor there start to hum. Now, the one complaint I will say is that the motor is not the most quiet out of all the models I've reviewed. So you can definitely hear it as it's moving around. It's not completely silent. It's currently set to 720p by default to save on bandwidth, but you can also toggle it into the full HD resolution. It's just going to take a split second, and you can see here how the uh, image quality seems to be a bit more uh, sharp. Like most home security cameras, it is a fixed focus lens, which means it does best with objects which are a little bit further away from the lens. If we tap on the microphone key, that's accessing the two-way communication or walkie-talkie, so I can communicate with the camera. So for example, hello, this hello? is a test. There are two more buttons here which allow us to monitor specific objects in our room. The first here, which is a cube, allows us to ignore a region if there's movement in that region. So for example, if there's a window or a area where there's always going to be a pet around and you simply want it to always ignore the zone, you can highlight it with a square. Versus the bottom key here is for motion detection in that specific zone. So maybe if you want to highlight a door or if you want to track an object and this object has been moved or stolen, you will get a notification. So right now there is a setting here, and if I, again, move this robot away, as you can hear, there's a notification that just popped up. And then under settings, we can change the camera properties, things like the luminance, the saturation level, the speaker settings, uh, all of these fine properties that I can adjust. Now, finally, we can also take a look at a tab called Magix, uh, which is basically using the VPU in other fancy ways. Uh, so basically, you're also able to do things like um, 
recognize different pets, you're also able to do things like activate different gestures. So that basically if it detects a person is smiling, it will capture a selfie or image for them. So you can play around with it and use it for more purposes than just for sur surveillance. So I've already entered my face and uh, taken the images using the app and pushed it over the camera to train. And right now it recognizes me really surprisingly well. So I'm hiding behind the camera right now so it's not detected anything. But if I step outside of the camera, I've actually received now a notification on the app that says face recognition, OS reviews, and the date stamp. So that's SimCam. It's a really interesting home security camera that I think will definitely be a new standard for hardware moving forward. So I think more and more of these next generation security cameras will come with the Intel Movidius chipset inside just because it is so fast and accurate at doing things like machine learning and training people's faces and recognizing it and distinguishing it with such high accuracy. It's really simple, straightforward, and easy to use. With that being said, whether cloud is something that is going to go away completely as far as the storage component, I'm not really sure because I think that cloud storage definitely still has a place. Uh, say if an intruder comes in and they steal your SD card away, that means you still lose those files, right? Uh, even though you do get an alert on your phone and you can take a screenshot. Uh, but I think that some integration or in some way of having the offline training for faces on your device and not on the cloud, but still having the cloud function for maybe storing and backing up your data would be kind of a good optimal point. But overall, I think the SimCam is still a very interesting product in its own right, a great kind of new generation as far as the hardware is concerned and very exciting as far as seeing where these products will go next. So if you're tired of false alarms and you want something more accurate to detect different types of people entering and leaving a house or an area in your house, you can definitely check out more details about the SimCam in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.